thank you for looking at my channel today. I want to thank you for it. If you would please subscribe to the channel. Hit the red button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. It will help me get this pushed out to other people. And it will help a whole lot if you could give it a thumbs up. We're going to, this is June the 16th. We're going to be talking about don't panic. On Father's Day, we're going to talk about don't panic. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 13 and 14 says, Therefore take up the full armor of God, so that you will be able to resist the evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. We're supposed to stand firm in the evil day. We're supposed to resist the evil day. So we as Christians need to take up the full armor of God so we can defend ourselves and fight back. When there seems to be no way out of trouble, sometimes it's best just to stand and call on God to make a way where there seems to be no way. If you don't know what to do, I don't know if I should take this new job. I don't know if I should move to this other state. I don't know if I should go forward or back. If you don't know what to do, stand firm and wait on God till you have complete peace and the Lord reveals to you in your spirit what you should do. Don't panic. A lot of people panic when things happen. Uh, you've got a job offer here, but you have to let me know by tomorrow. And then they panic. Oh God, I don't know. They got a lot of decision to make. I got to sell my home. I got to move to a new place. I got to do this. If they throw you under the bus like that and you got 24 hours, just tell them, well, then I'm going to have to pass. I need more time than that to think it over. Don't panic. Don't go into panic mode. It'll hurt you. Hebrews 13 and 5. For there has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. For he has said he would never leave you. He'd never forsake you. The Lord will go with you to the end of the world. God's not a person to bail out on you and leave you high and dry. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother and he's always going to be there for you, and he will help you if you will ask him. But don't get into panic mode when you need an answer from God. And don't put restraints on the Lord like, well, Lord, it's Monday. If I don't hear from you by Friday, then I'm going to go do this and that. Well, then you're in the wrong spot. You need to quit panicking and wait on God. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, he will renew your strength. Sometimes we just need to wait. Sometimes the best thing we can do is just stand. Don't go left. Don't go right. Don't go forward. Don't go back. But just stand firm where you're at. Stay at your post and wait for God to reveal to you what he wants you to do. Just like the Lord helped Moses and his people and he parted the Red Sea and they went across on dry ground when he got to the water. And there they were. The enemy behind them closing in. The sea in front of them. Uh, if he would have went into panic mode and lost control and told everybody, well, let's just try to fight him or this or that, it would have been a disaster. But he called upon the Lord. You need to not get panicked when you see the sea in front of you and the enemy closing in behind you. Don't panic. All right? Dig in and wait till God tells you to move forward or move back to engage the enemy or the Lord works a way for you like he did Moses and the children of Israel. Always remember, he's an on-time God. And so he'll always be there right on time. So don't panic when things happen. And when you have problems in your life, don't let panic hit you. The Lord is right there for you. And one last time, let me hit, remind you of this. Don't panic. Remain calm and wait on God. And know that he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's a friend that won't let you down. He's a friend that he will be there when you put the full armor on. He's going to be there to resist the devil. You must wait on God and not panic and say, God, I'm going to stand and not move till you show me what to do. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope the fathers have a wonderful Father's Day. If you would please subscribe to my channel. I'm also on rumble.com. There's a thumbnail on my page. You can go over to Rumble and subscribe there too. And I've got videos on both of them. I also have a Facebook page. I have a thumbnail there for that if you'd like to join the Facebook page.
I'm going to say thank you for your time. This time, till next time, old Rev May signing off. You have a wonderful day, and may God bless you today, and have a wonderful day.